What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, what did we do? Oh, we tamed a, uh, oh yeah, we tamed the Antrodemus, this thing here. That was the main thing we tamed. It looks really nice and, oh, it's a male. I was going to say it doesn't have a gender, but no, the uh, icon's just orange. But yeah, really cool specimen. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it was only a level 95, so it's not the greatest, but it's definitely something anyway. So, uh, yeah, we tamed that, and we also tamed up a couple more Megalosaurs. We ended up getting some with better stats last episode. We got, like, three 135s. I think it was, like, two males and two females, or two females and a male the other way around. So, if we go into here, Megalosaurs, so, of course... We didn't get lucky with any mutations, but once we got the tamed ones, what do we get? Boom and boom. We got two males. One with a health mutation and one with a melee mutation. Of course, when we find one, two, a couple of them with slightly better stats, we end up finding, getting two mutated megalosaurs. We are starting over, so, you know what? I'll just keep those as, like, maybe backup megalosaurs or something. So, I went ahead and made a couple more trank darts. Alright, you're the megalosaur, you can stay there. This is our 250 megalosaur that we, like, used for the rock drake. Let's get that 13 points into melee. Let's go. You're a good girl. Alright, in today's episode... I want to go out and tame a Baryonyx that's the opposite gender. So our Baryonyx is a female. I want to get a high level male. I know we've pretty much done the cave already, but I just want one. I just want one. So we can have whatever. So I'm going to take the Baryonyx so we can compare stats once we find the high level that we're looking for. And then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to take the Rock Drake out. We'll take the Rock Drake, and then we're going to head out. Don't worry, I'm thinking about taming a Reaper at some point. Don't worry. And I also do plan on going to the Radiation Cave to get the last artifact needed. As well as waiting for the next 90% night so we can go to the surface next episode. And maybe we could, like, see if we could find a high-level Fasolosuchus, because I hear they're a lot easier to tame on Aberration. Simply because they're a lot richer in metal, the surface. So, we're going to see if we could do that. And we'll explore the other entrances to the surface. Alright, um, Rock Drake. Let's just head over there. I've got a hundred more Trank Darts. We should be good to go. A uh, game. Game. Thank you. I'm still looking for a lay lapse. I'm not quite sure where they spawn, but they're there anyway. Oh, we've got a raptor here. That's a 20. We've got some proceratops. I would also like to get a beautiful colored creature that we can call our home. I don't care what it is. Spino, Barry. I mean, a Barry would be awesome. Mutated with colors. As well as a, uh, as well as, like, a Megalosaurus. That'd be cool. So I'm gonna try to keep some of those creatures for, like, colors and whatever. So let's head over to the blue zone. See if we could find a high-level male Baryonyx. And then we can compare the stats, and then we'll breed them up, get an imprinted version. And then off-camera, I'll see if I can get some perfect stats. And the same levels, and then we can go for mutations afterwards. I'll start with stat mutations. Ooh, a Parasair Saddle. We'll start with, um, stat mutations, and then we'll focus on color mutations afterwards. My oh. Time in oh, we just opened up an Explorer note. Nice. I passed here so many times and never noticed that Explorer note. So, Baryonyxes would normally spawn in the water, I would imagine. And I'm going away from the water. Nice. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can find any Baryonyxes in the water. Yeah, that's where they usually spawn, or sometimes just outside the water. There's one right here. I see it. Alright, let's see what level you are. You are a 25, alright. Alright. 
I'll go ahead and die. There we go. We can do way better than that. Well, oh, there's a max level something. If it could be a Baryonyx, then that'd be great. There is a Baryonyx here. No, wait, that's not a Baryonyx. That's a Nothosaurus. That's a 50 Nothosaurus. Aha, eel. You just missed me. There we go. Baryonyx. Baryonyx. I see one. We'll have to see what level it is. Without being in the water so we can get stunned. We don't want that, so... Alright. Baryonyx, what level are you good, sir? You are a 10. Luckily, the water is pretty clear around here. So you can see Baryonyxes quite easily. Yeah, the 140 female that we found was by chance. So this one's probably going to be a lot harder to find, I would imagine. We got another Antrodemus. Well, we... That's a 130. If you could have a baby... You do have a baby. You have a baby. Okay, okay, this could be good. This could be good. Let me see if I can kill the adult without killing the baby. Alright, Gigantoraptor... Zazu, this is where you come in. Alright. Do your little call. A 130 baby. What, what level are we? 163? We've got levels. Let's go up in levels so we can get extra bonus levels. Let's just get some extra levels so we can get all the levels we can get here. A high level Antrodemus. And it's a female. So we can easily breed them up. So what do we got? 28 points into health, meh. 32 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 33 into weight, 32 into melee. Yeah, it's pretty mid, if you ask me. But we got a high level anyway. 130. Where was that when we were taming it last episode? Alright. Zazu, you did well. You can go away. That... That was perfect. A 130. That's a 140. Carcanos. How much health did you have? 6,500. Yeah, that, that explains it. Alright, we got a pink spider. I want to see the level of that pink spider. 70. Not the greatest level. I see a Baryonyx. I also hear a Megalosaurus. What level are you? Alright, was that a 1 something? No, it's a 20. There was a 100 and something. 35, 5. All right. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We don't need any spiders. It doesn't matter. I do see another Baryonyx in the water somewhere. Right here. All right. What level are you? 75. Not the greatest level. All right. Get it before it stuns us. Another 10. Not searching for any Megalosaurs. A lot of you are garbage levels today. Great. Follow me. Uh, recently injured. All right, whatever. Yeah, follow me. There must have been a jellyfish down there. Damn. All right, anyway. That's another 10 Megalosaurus. We killed an anomaly... Oh, that's the earthquake. Oh, these damn earthquakes. Ouch. Uh, what's going on? Earthquakes need to stop. Alright, thank you. Eels piss off. Trying to get whatever's in this drop. All that for a drop. The earthquake kept bouncing me off. We got some raw metal and whatever else. All right. Cool. That's a 140 male basilisk. If I keep that alive, we can see if we can breed them up. I'll try to keep you alive, but I can't make any promises. Game? Thank you. Probably you, Megalosaurus. A 120 female. 23 points in health, 22 in a male. All right. I will keep this Basilisk in mind. I might tame that off camera. Ping that, just so I know where it is. 
And I think I do see another Baryonyx in the distance. Let's see what level this guy is. Please be a good level. You are a 15. We can do way better than that. Oh, hello. 130? You know what? You'll do. 27 points into melee could be good. And 24 points into health. That's it pre-tamed. So let's go ahead. Shoot you. This gun is really good. Yeah, this guy should be out within the second one. Oh, no, really? That close? Alright. Of course, man, you moved at the last second! And we sniped him. Nice. No scoped him. Awesome. Alright. So we got a 130 male, which seems to have really good stats. But we'll find out once this guy's fully tamed, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. 130 male has been tamed. Alright, you know what? We're gonna compare the stats once we get home. So let's get out of here. And then we'll make plans for next episode. We'll breed them up, get an imprinted baryonyx, see how it is. We'll, we'll get some that keep the stats, and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And we're back at base. Since we're at the breeding pen, we might as well do some breeding and whatever. Let's see what kind of day we're on. Okay, we're on a 90% night. All right, so next episode, we're going to go up to the surface and do a surface run. That's what we'll do next episode. All right, I didn't want to land on the platform anyway. I wanted to fall down. A game? Game, what are you doing? Alright, so if we check out the Baryonyxes, let's review the female, let's get the, the female and the male next to each other. So the female had 43 points into health, 46 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares, 31 into weight, and 41 into melee. So it had pretty good stats, pretty good melee, pretty good health, pretty good stamina, and then the male. 37 points into health, 46 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares, 38 into weight, and 38 into melee. So yeah, the female is clearly better. But we can always breed up for the perfect stats. You know what? I think we could stop breeding the roll rats now. Make room for more. Alright. Let's make room for the berries. So the female can go here. And then the male can go next to it. Alright. Let's go to B. Behavior, enable mating, behavior, copy settings to nearby Baryonyx, and then we should be good to go. Alright, let me restore this place with more food and whatever. Yeah, that's all spoiled meat. Let's go into meat, drop the spoiled, transfer all of that. Yes, we're going to start feasting, my pretties. Alright, so let's start with the... Uh, Spider eggs. I don't even know why I'm breeding these guys. I just am, for some reason. Gigantoraptors, I'm kind of getting some mutations and whatever. Gigantoraptor. Let's hatch these three up. 161, 161, 161. They're all no mutations on any of them, alright? Hmm. Alright, let's, uh. I guess we'll take a couple of females so we can, you know, make the breeding a lot quicker. Let's take the Thorax Spiders. So I think it's 199. Nope, no mutations on them. So let's go ahead and kill them. Alright, and let's go on to the Megalosaurus. Alright, so we got the 202. We need the perfect stats. So let's review, see what kind of stats we got. 34 and 35, and we need 30, 36 and 25. All right, so we need the 34 and the 36. So we need the 34 and the 36. So let's see what we got. You lost both. You lost the melee. I think you got the perfect male. 
Hold on. 34, 25. All right, we got the perfect melee. We managed to get the perfect melee with the Megalosaurs. Let's go ahead and kill the rest. And for the Spino, what's this? Oh, not the source. What we get? Oh, yeah, the, this is the Storm and whatever. All right. I think you did lose the melee, so we're going to go ahead and kill you. All right, and the Spinos. Let's go ahead and breed those up, see what we get. So we need a 212, I believe. Yeah, we still need a 212. I haven't really been lucky with these. And, of course, it's another female. And it's a melee mutation. If only you were a male. Damn it. Wait a minute. How about 214? Nope. Okay. Got some cool colors. No, not really. Right, let's kill them. And then let's drop the... All right, we'll let them continue their business. And we got some Baryonyx eggs cooking. I'll let them do their business, and while we wait, let's check on the other ones. Let's check on our bears and our Ravagers. We haven't really gotten any mutations in a while. So for the Ravagers, we're looking for 232. 232. Nothing, really? Wait, hold on. Are you even breeding? Behavior. Oh no, you are. Never mind. So we don't have any mutations for the. All right, for the bears, we're looking for two twenty-four. Four for the bears. No mutations on any of those whatsoever. So let's kill them. All right, we have no luck with those. So, all right. So what I might do on my spare time is uh, maybe do some more breeding and get some stuff done and ready for whatever we have planned. You know, we'll get uh, whatever. Yeah, I'll uh, get some more breeding done in the meantime. And, uh, but yeah. And with that, that is going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.